Hey guys, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Steven. See that cart right there? <laughs> Pardon my finger. Um, uh, there used to be a kiosk in that spot called uh, La Saucier. It used to sell hot sauce. It was my first job here in Boston. Um, I moved here when I was 22, uh, back about a thousand years ago. Uh, I was born in Pawtucket, Rhode Island, don't tell anybody, but uh, I always consider Boston my hometown because uh, this is where I, I was really, I grew up. But um, in that little spot there was a kiosk that sold hot sauce. I worked there for five dollars an hour. Uh, it was um, inconsequential, it really was a blip in my career. Um, but next to it there was a cart that sold uh, cosmetics. A woman named Carol Lucas used to own this cart and she sold makeup, no name makeup that she put a label or her own sticker on there and uh, the number one seller was a lipstick called Chocolate Cherry number no. 6 and uh, we sold thousands of those lipsticks it really looked like cat poop in a tube honestly today but back then it was a huge seller um, so that was an important job for me in that um, Carol was the first person to see something in me that was different, I guess, a, a, a salesmanship, some sort of personality, a budding personality, because I was very shy and um, awkward back then. But uh, So she gave me a chance to sell her cosmetics for a dollar more an hour than I was making at the hot sauce shop. So I took that chance and I ran with it. Um, and it was important because the next job I had was at a beauty supply store, which led me to something else, which ended up uh, leading me to becoming a makeup artist for Versace, which is um, to this day probably the happiest I've been. Um, which then led me to luxury retail and fine jewelry, and uh, it really did change my entire the entire arc of my life. I have no idea where I would have been in my life today if it weren't for Carol and selling that makeup on that cart. Um, so, I'm on this 24-hour layover in Boston, and I figured I don't have the energy to go all the way to the other side of the city to see my sponsor from uh, when I lived here. Um, I just don't feel uh, that well, but I did feel well enough, and I wanted to come into the, into the city because I love Boston. Um, so, I thought I would give you a little tour of... I'll, I'll walk down through the, the marketplace a little bit so you can get an idea of what... Uh, this place is like. I, I still love it here. It's super quiet. Nobody's here. Um, but let's see. Uh, what am I doing this trip? I'm on a four-day trip on position B. Yesterday we had a, um, a red eye from Vegas to Boston. I don't do a lot of red eyes unusually enough out of Vegas, but um, it, was, it was pretty tough. It was hard to stay awake. I took an hour's nap earlier in the day, but I still struggled. Uh, to get to the hotel. <laughs> Once we got to the hotel, I, I ate a huge breakfast, uh, got in bed, and I tried to, get, to take a nap, but I wanted to give myself time to enjoy in Boston. But I kept hitting snooze, I kept hitting snooze, I kept changing the alarm. I really didn't feel well. So I didn't get out of bed till about, I don't know, 1.30? Um, so I got the 2 o'clock shuttle uh, to the airport, and I got here to Boston. Blah, blah, blah. So I'm going to spend the day here, um, and then I'm going to uh, go back to the hotel, try and sleep as well as I can, because tomorrow is a nightmarish day. Um, we fly from Boston to Baltimore, Baltimore to Cancun, which I stay on the plane. I don't get off the plane. And then we fly back to Baltimore. It's a long day. In my airline, we're allowed a 14-hour long duty day. We can only be scheduled to work block hours, nine block hours, and this trip is blocked exactly at nine hours, so it's it's pushing us to the limit there. Um, <clears throat> the next day, I think we just fly to Chicago and back to Vegas, so it's nice. So it's gonna be it's a, a good trip. I'm working with a crew that um, we don't not get along, but we're also not the best of friends either. So it's just sort of neutral. They're nice. Um, we all have time to read or keep ourselves occupied. There's not a lot of chatter. 
Um, and that leads me to a buddy update. Of course, I can't have a video these days without a buddy update. Uh, so last week, you know, if you watch that video, um, I left Buddy in the house for the first time for a three-day trip. And uh, it was a nightmare in the end because, and he survived, he's fine, but he had tipped over his water container and he hadn't had water for a day or two. I don't know how long, uh, but he seemed to be okay. He rebounded from that right away um, and really easily. We had about two and a half, almost three days together which was nice, uh, but I was preparing for this four-day trip, and I was wondering whether or not I would let him stay in the apartment for this four-day trip, and I wasn't sure, because four days is a real long time to be alone in that apartment. Um, trust me, I've done it, but um, doing the math and looking at the hours, it's less than 62 hours, so it's actually, this four-day trip is actually shorter than my last three-day trip, so... I was going to let him stay in the apartment this time because it's cold in Las Vegas. It's colder in Las Vegas right now than it is in Boston. And it's colder there than it is in Detroit. Um, all of the um, irrigation runoff from people's yards was all frozen in the, uh, in the gutters. And the idea of Buddy spending three uh, evenings or three nights in freezing temperatures without a lot of food or a, a warm place to be broke my heart and I know he would survive I know he would survive but surviving isn't my goal I'm sure it's not yours either so um, I thought I would um, let him stay in the apartment again um, and so uh, we'll see what happens um, I'm hopeful I left extra water and extra food out so he would be um, and in multiple places so in case he tipped something over he'd have an alternate so and remind me to, I'll remind myself, I bought a new um, cat tree, cat something. I got it at Ross for $25. It would have cost me like 65 or something like that on Amazon. So I was glad to find it at Ross. So let's go for a little walk. I'll show you Faneuil Hall and uh, then I'll let you go. All right. So this is pretty typical for Faneuil Hall Marketplace. Um, oh my God. Mm, I'm going to walk in a shop. I can't afford to buy anything, but I want to go into this little Geo Classics. So this is what Faneuil Hall Place, Faneuil Hall Market really looks like. This is uh, Quincy Market. Now, the uh, carts are a little bit more sophisticated, as I say. Oh, Shipyard, Boston Shipyard. The best, the best chocolate chip cookies you will ever have in your natural life. So these carts... Um, when I, I used to work on, uh, as I mentioned, the kiosk, but I used to work on a couple of the carts part-time as well. And so when you work the carts, you basically sit on hard stools, like those right there. You sit on the carts for hours and hours and hours and hours, doing almost nothing, uh, except for um, watching people try to steal merchandise off your cart. Um, but it's, it's a, um, a, it was a real challenge working these carts, especially in the summer when there's no real air conditioning and in the winter when it's really chilly. Um, so that's, that's what the carts look like. And I'll show you a quick view of the food court sort of area because I think it's neat. So I worked here for about mm, a year and nine months, a year and 10 months. And it's so strange to walk around because this is, this was home for a real long time. So, there's food stalls until you can't see <laughs> on both sides. And this, this is almost empty. And when this place is busy, it is literally insane. It's insane. All right, so you got a little buddy update. You got a little... Bit of nostalgia from me. Little trip update. If anything else happens today or during this trip, um, I'll certainly let you know. Um, I'll probably film something tomorrow or the day after um, a reaction to um, this trip tomorrow. This this uh, Baltimore Cancun thing. So I will talk to you guys later. You have a great day and uh, fly safe.
All right. Bye.